Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Emily Taplin. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. Thousands gathered on the East Lawn of Civic Plaza to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. I'm who I am, and I think that's worth fighting for. The second annual Bloomington Pride was Saturday, August 13th. There were kids activities, music, entertainment, and so much more. I think that when a city has it, it's less of a large gathering and more of we are representing our community as separate. It's not a divide of the communities, but it's definitely like we have queer people that live here and we have people on the entire spectrum that live here. And here's a chance to represent you in our local space. So as a kid, I grew up in a small town in Wisconsin. I'm a transplant, I know, but I didn't have any of this. And being able to have it as an outlet, not only for entertainers or people of different gender identities who are looking to express themselves, but it also gives our kids a chance to also see that if that's where they are going to be and that's who they were born to be, then it's okay and there's a community to ce like celebrate it with them. And I stand firmly behind all of that. Making sure that these kids and these young adults and other, even older adults, everybody can see that it's important that we recognize the beauty and diversity in the culture of your own city. Because look at this, this is incredible, like, and beautiful. The event was heavily funded by community and planned by Bloomington community members, businesses, organizations, and the city. Nominations are being accepted for the Omar Bondarud Human Rights Award. This award is presented by the Human Rights Commission to an individual or organization that has made a significant contribution to ensuring the rights of vulnerable groups in Bloomington. Omar Bondarud was the first chairperson of the commission formed in 1968. Last year's recipient was Oasis for Youth. To learn more or nominate someone, head to blm.mn slash Bondarud or call the number on your screen to request a paper application. The deadline is August 26th. Take a break from your week and soak in the last days of summer at the final midweek music and market of the season. The last day of the Wednesday evening series is August 24th from 5 to 8 p.m. on the East Lawn of Civic Plaza. Enjoy live music, lawn games, and fresh farmer's market finds. Visit the latest Atrium Gallery exhibit presented by Artistry, the visual voice of autism. The Minnesota artist is Harrison Halker Heinks, who examines reflective surfaces in his photography. Heinks uses his art to express what it feels like to live with autism. The visual voice of autism runs through Sunday, September 11th at the Atrium Gallery at the Bloomington Center for the Arts. That is the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to the Speaks playlist. There you'll find Bloomington Public Health celebrating National Breastfeeding Awareness Month. Plus, your weekly check-in with Mayor Tim Bussey in the Council Minute. Thanks for watching.